this question is based on the heat transfer. So let us see what the question says. So we have got three building materials. For your convenience, I've actually drawn these three materials. So the first one to the left is the plasterboard P. I denote them as P. Uh, the middle one as brick. Let's say this one is a brick. And the third one is the wood. And they have their own set of thermal conductivities. Let's say K1, K2, K3. These values are already given in the question. And also we have the temperatures at the inside and outside surfaces as 27 degrees Celsius, 27 degrees Celsius, and T in outside is zero degrees. Okay, so the, each material has the same thickness and cross-sectional area. So let's say thickness, let's say we denote it as LLL. So each one will have same length and cross-sectional area A is constant. Okay, so now we have to find out the temperature at the interfaces. Okay, let us denote this temperature. So let's say this is Ti, interior temperature, and this is To, outer temperature. And this one is, let's say, T1, this is T2. Now here you have to understand that the heat passing through them will be constant. This is the main fundamental of this question. Okay, so first of all, we will try to figure out the resistance offered by each material. So uh, let me give you a quick introduction to the expression of heat transfer Q equal to Ka by L del T. Fine. Now the resistance is given as R equal to given as L by Ka. Fine. So if you see this Q is constantly constant passing through all of them. So we can say that all these materials are in series, right? For series combination, we have equivalent resistance R equivalent equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. Now we have got the length and area constant. So let us take them as common L by A. Now we have got 1 by K1 plus 1 by K2 plus 1 by K3. Fine. Now we have, let's say, L by A. We plug in all the values of K by 0.3 plus 0 0.6 uh, 0.1. We, uh, let us simplify this and see how much we are getting. Fifteen. So it's coming around fifteen L by A. So this is the equivalent resistance of the entire set of materials. Okay. Now we will find out individual heat expressions. Okay, so the heat flowing through the entire set of material will also be heat flowing through any one set of material, right? Okay, so for that, let us write Q will be, okay, yes, Q will be, uh, actually it will be del T by R del T by R, E for this case, but and here it will be, uh, let's say we consider the first material P, where we will have Ti minus Tl, Ti minus 
T1 by R1. Okay, so del T here will be 27 minus 0, the complete in interior and exterior temperatures. So here we will have 27 by RE. RE is 15 L by A, which is equal to Ti is 27 minus T1 by R1. R1 will be here, R1 will be L by Q1A, right? So L by A and K1 will be 0 0.3 here times 0 0.3. Okay. Now we can actually write down the other expression also equal to Q2. So let us write the other expression also because this will remain constant, right? So here we will take, let's say T2 and the outer, outer temperature, the K3 we calculate. So it will be T2 minus T uh, naught by R2. R3. Here we will have T2, we don't know T2, T2 we need to calculate the interface temperature T2 minus T0 will be 0 by R3. R3 will be L by A times 0 0.1. Okay. Okay, so we will take first this expression. This will give us This will give us, let's say, 27 by 15 equal to 0 0.3 times 27 minus T1. Here we have T1 equal to Twenty one degrees Celsius. So this is the first interface temperature T one. Celsius. Okay, now we will again consider the first and the last expression out here. So twenty seven by fifteen equal to 0 0.1 times T2. So T2 will be equal to 18 degrees. So we have got the interface temperatures of both the materials. We have, that is option, this is answer to question A and this is answer to question B. I hope you have understood this and have a very nice rest of the day ahead. Thank you.